Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, and that sun is right in my eyes. But what we're doing today, you can see we got a bunch of drywall cut up and stacked up here. This is going to be a really quick one comparing two super common calibers, the 556 or 223 and the 300 blackout. And the rounds we're comparing here today, they're both uh, jacketed soft points or hunting ammo. Federal power shocks. You go to get the cheapest lead tip stuff. This is probably what you're going to find. That's what I could find. But the 300 blackout is 150 grain, and the 223 is a 55 grain. I got 42 pieces of drywall here, so essentially 21 walls in your house, and we're going to see how many pieces of drywall does it take to stop the 223 and the 300 blackout but these are these are both some really good rifle calibers what's the speed on these so at the muzzle the 300 blackouts going 1900 but the 223 is going 3200 so 556 or 223 is really fast and 1900 is no slouch either we've done this video with pistols before so go check those out if you haven't seen them but comment down below do you think 42 sheets is going to be enough to stop it a lot of people want to comment to me i use this or i use that in my rifle because it will only go through so many walls well i'm here to tell you <laughs> drywall is not going to stop your your ar round but let's see what happens i have no clue what to expect i'm gonna shoot them both at the same time here and then we'll go through and count and see how many pieces of drywall it takes to stop the 223 or the 300 blackout. What? Let's see what happens. Here's my 556 and my 300 blackout. These are both CMMGs, Resolutes, with 16 inch barrels. So no difference there on the barrel length for you uh, barrel length nuts. But let's shoot this drywall and uh, see what happens. I think it's going to be interesting what, what we see here. The 556 five, or 223 is in on the left hand side here. All right, let's take a look at them and see what happened. All right, on the 223, the first shot, I thought I heard a metal sound like it might have gone through all of that, but. Let's take a closer look and see what happened. So, remember, the one on this side was the 223, and this one's the 300 blackout. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, <clears throat> seven, eight. Nine, ten. Well, there's ten, and we're still going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and I think thirteen. We might have caught the two, two, three. Yeah, thirteen. So, let's see if I can get it out of here. So. Right there is that 223 stopped in 13 walls. Now that is super surprising. I would have guessed at least twice that many, but let's see if we can find the 300 blackout, which went further than the 223. That was 13. Now that was 13. 14, 15. 17, 18, 18 walls is what it took to stop that 150 grain 300 blackout. So that's actually really surprising because we've done pistol tests with pistol calibers that, uh, yeah, stopped in about the same. And what's crazy here is, so these are going, obviously, 
real fast out of those rifles. Man, that's hot and burning my fingers, but you can see how those actually did expand. That does not look like a bullet. It looks like a big old funky pile of mess. So that 223 stopped in, what did I say, 12 or 13? And what was it for the 300, 18? So pretty crazy. 300 blackout went through, what is that? I guess 33% more walls wait no 50 percent more walls yeah so pretty interesting you know the fast bullet expands quick which makes it slow down the slower heavier bullet went even further so pretty cool these tests are always pretty wild i never know what to expect <clears throat> a big shout out and a big thanks to the heavy metal channel you guys go check them out and subscribe don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel. We've got tons of these videos on the channel. Go check them out. As always, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hootie Hoo!